This is why when Ahlul Bayt had ever been in problems, Rasulullah would not have been Islam today had it not been for Khadija. And the Wilayah of Amir al-Mu'mineen hadn't have been, had it not been for Zahra. Where do you see this? When Amir al-Mu'mineen's sword stopped, Zahra's tongue then begins when she gives that khutbah for the khiyah. And as she begins, she talks of a deep philosophy that no one can answer. She stands for the rights of her husband in such a way that until the day of judgment, people know what is haq and what is batil. And in the same way, when the warith of all of the Anbiya is killed in Karbala, the entire foundations of the message of Islam survives because of one woman. The reality of Ahlul Bayt and Imamat has survived because of women. And this is why Ma'asum al says, she says, me Fatima heard from my aunt Fatima, who heard from her 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 grandmother Fatima, was all the way up. What does it say? It says this. It says that on the Arsh of Allah is written about the Wilayah of Amir al muminin And there is no tradition far greater. It says this kalama of La ilaha illallah says Allah says, this is my fortress. And whoever enters that fortress, Amadam and Ababi, secure from my torment. But then he says that the Imam is the, sh- the Sharait and the Shrut, the criteria for this wilaya, the criteria for Tawheed. If you don't understand the criteria, you will never be able to come into the fortress of Tawheed. That fortress was explained to humanity by one lady as she stands there. Look through the eyes of Wilaya next time you read that khutbah of Fadatiya. Go home today, look through the lens of Wilaya and you will see another dimension to the reality of what that actual khutbah is about. She didn't go just because of the fact of going. The way that she talks, the methodology which she uses to break down the enemies around her was amazing. The way that she did it, it told us a Vulfakar, yes, has a benefit. But Vulfakar is not a person. Tradition or traditions is it's the mechanism of defense of the Imam. And people say when the 12th Imam comes, how is it possible he's going to fight with a sword? Vulfakar is not a sword. It's the defense mechanism of the Imam. Hence, when Amir al muminins sword had come to a stop, there was one reality that promoted that. Today, our biggest argument to the fact that we are correct is Fatima Tazahara She's that one entity that defended Wilaya. If someone is was to ask today, what is succession? Succession means this. Sunni and Shia, both of us have said that that person who dies without giving bayah, knowing the Imam of their time, Mata, Mitad and Jahiliya, can you produce one tradition that says Fatima Tazahara gave allegiance to anyone but Amir al Within all of the traditions of Ahl Sunnah, it says Banu Hashim did not give allegiance to the first Khalifa as long as she was alive. What establishes Sahih Muslim then says it says this that there are two people who claim Khilafat. One of them is to hell. One of them, and the tradition says Wajib al Qatul, and the other one, this is Sahih Muslim, this is not our traditions. One of them is Wajib al Qatul, the other one's the Imam of the time. Other one's the Hujjat of Allah, other one is the Khalifa of Allah. Question is this, who does Zahra give allegiance to? There's no tradition, even a lie in history from the hundreds of thousands of traditions which we have that says she gave allegiance to anyone but a middle woman. But my discussion is not on history and my discussion is not a theological discussion. The reason why I mentioned this is for this purpose. She is the Mizan. She is that scale that brings truth and falsehood. She is the objective reality of Allah. She is the truth. She is the manifestation of Haq. And Haq is only but Allah. She is the secret of truth. She is Sirullah. She is the guide. She is the nurturer. One Quran was revealed on the night of Qadr and that Night became known as Laylatul Qadr. Why is Laylatul Qadr? Why is Ramadan the best of all months? Because of Laylatul Qadr. Why is Laylatul Qadr the best night that exalted Ramadan? Because the Quran was revealed. What is the reality of the Quran? One Quran was revealed, Ramadan becomes Ramadan. 
Zahra is that person who gave birth to 11 Quran and Atiqs.